After two weekends of hunting, Aaron Marks is heading back to his camp in hopes of calling in a bull moose. With a huge coastal storm expected to hit Alaska this weekend, Aaron is preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best. This week, Levi is staying home for basketball tryouts, so Aaron is hoping to call in his nephew Peyton's first bull moose. Although the weather has been frustrating, there is no lack of excitement when it comes to hunting the Cosna. This weekend my son had to stay home because he has basketball tryouts for his comp team. This year I'm hoping to get my first moose. I've been practicing with Levi 7 and and Really trying hard this weekend to get my little nephew Peyton his first moose. This is a really, really windy week because there's a big storm. We also brought my friend Derek he usually actually hunts uh, with his super cub, but there's this crazy storm that was supposed to blow in and it looks like it got here and so he couldn't make it out so he, he jumped in with us. This morning we got up earlier than normal so we could drop Derek off over at Goliath Meadow. He want, wanted to spread out a little bit. Um, so he hunted there and we went, we cruised down to Portage. We can't hear any moose because the wind is too loud. So when we got to Portage, uh, the wind was just starting to pick up. The, the weather was changing, so we, didn't, we couldn't hear anything. So then we went and checked a meadow near Williams Slough, um, not too far from Portage. And I have, actually haven't ever seen a moose there, but I, I've known a few people that, to take one from that. And this amount of wind, you just can't hear. And our, our calls don't seem to be traveling very far either. And so we're just kind of hoping that we bump into something. So after that, we decided to cruise up to Levi's Meadow on our way back. We still couldn't hear anything because the wind was really going by then. Um, we decided to look around. You could see a little bit more signs and newer tracks. And then for the first time this year, I smelt a little bit of rut. So I know that something's been through there at some point. After we came back to camp and got a little bite to eat, we thought we might have heard some gunshots in the Cosna area, so we decided to cruise up there and check it out. We decided it was probably actually trees that were falling over because how windy it is, and um, that burn went through there and made everything, all the root structures a little weak, so we heard several trees fall over while we were checking meadows. So then we took our afternoon drive down to Fish Creek Islands and found some new fresher set of bull tracks across the river. Tonight we're going to go ahead and uh, cruise up to Lena's Meadow up river a little ways and um, give that place a shot. Um, there was some sign there last weekend so we figure there's, there's at least a decent chance. In our culture, the first moose that you get like in your life is supposed to be shared and given away. So we've been out here hunting pretty hard, and trying to get Peyton his first moose that, so we can share it with people and spread the, the food. This is a really hard weekend of hunting because we really can't hear anything, it's too windy. Got up a little early before light and Went and dropped off Derek at Levi's Meadow. We thought there would be a good chance there and better chance if we split up. So, And then the rest of us cruised up to um, Goliath Meadow and did some calling just to check it out. And We 
we didn't really hear anything there, so. After Goliath meta, we could just flip the cost now. The wind's not quite as bad today, so we were hoping to hear something, but never did. Typical hunting camp fashion. Horrible weather all weekend, and then go home dates, blue skies, light breeze, but looks like it's gonna get cold. <laughs> So we were checking around and I shot a grouse with my airsoft gun. I learned how to cut it up to get more than just the rest out. So going back, going back home in a few minutes here and I'll uh, teach for two days and be back for the rest of the week until the end of the season.